All right. Today we're going to add some columns and format text or add text in a, in a little bit different way than we've done before. So the first thing we want to do is we want to add some columns. And I'm going to show you how to add columns very easily uh, so that we can uh, see how we're going to insert text. So what you want to do is let's hold down shift and click page four and five. All right. Once we do that, we're going to go up to layout. We're going to go to margins and columns, and we've got it in inches, which is great, and we're going to go to four columns. This is great. You can see that it fills up both pages, and you click OK. Now, if you wanted to put four columns on every page of your spread, you just edit a master page to do the same thing uh, that you just did, and then it would be on all of your pages. Okay? So... Now that we have our columns in here, let's go to our text document. So we're going to place, file place to our document. So we got text right here. Okay, and we're going to just drag out some columns to fit or some text boxes to fit in these, in these things. So you'll notice that I've dra drug this out and it's all lower miss from text and don't worry, that's fine. So you see there's a red plus right here. If I click that, it's going to make the same arrow uh, as if I'm placing it. So I'm going to just keep dragging that out. What that means is there's overset text. That means there's more text than the frame can hold. So I'm going to click it again so we can just keep dragging these these out. And then you see that uh, right here I have another set that needs to be done. So. I've got my frame kind of filled up on this whole thing. Uh, and if you'll notice, these are all connected because I kept hitting that plus. So watch. If I drag this up, you'll notice that the text shifts on these. Uh, and I've still got this blue. So if I clicked here, I could add another frame with more text. And you'll see that it shifts all these other texts. Uh, you know, if we brought this up, you'd see that it would edit these text boxes these text frames. So what we want to do is we want to make these the same height as each other so that our text can fill out the right way. So just a little bit less right there. So these text boxes are connected to each other and so these text frames are connected to each other and they are strung together. So if you're if you're looking and you don't know where text is uh, following each other, what you should do is go to View, and you should go to Extras and Show Text Threads. What that does is it shows you this is the bottom of this, and it goes to here. Uh, and it does it for all of them, so you can see. And this is if you have text that's going to different pages, like if you're making a magazine or a newspaper, you can make sure you're keeping up, because the way your text should flow the reader should be able to just keep reading without having to worry about where the text went. Okay, so that's one way to insert text uh, into multiple frames. We're going to keep going into editing text and editing form and formatting paragraphs and things of that nature in the next couple of uh, assignments. So make sure you save this. Uh, this is the third set that we're saving. So lookbook underscore three underscore last name. All right, guys. Have a great time. Thanks.